Hello, saxophone players. Let's work on line 11 together, reading the notes. And so before we play it, let's go ahead and grab our saxophones, and we're going to say the letter names together. And as we say it, we need to practice pushing the fingers down for each note. Okay? Uh, to play line 11, you need to know the fingerings for a G, A, B, C, and D. If you don't know your fingerings for those five notes, please go back and review those first before trying line 11. Okay? All right, so grab that instrument. We're going to go ahead and say it out loud. And notice there's repeat sign at the end, the dots at the end. So we'll do this twice. Okay? All right, let's say it and push the keys. Here we go. Ready and go. G, 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 A. Rest, rest, rest. D, D, C, C, B. Rest. Get ready. We're going to do it again. Here we go. G, 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 A. Rest, rest, rest. D, D, C, C, B. Rest, rest, rest. Now, sometimes the computer malfunctions and it doesn't repeat it. It is supposed to do the song twice, just to let you know. Okay. Um, remember, you can always check a fingering by clicking on a note. And then clicking on the dots below, and that will show you the fingering if you forget what it is. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and play line 11. And this time, would you do the same thing? Would you just finger along with me, push the keys, and say the letters as I play it? And then I'll have you play with me the next time. Okay. So go ahead and push it and say it. Here we go as I play it. Go and grab your instrument, and let's go ahead and play it together. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the accompaniment now, this time the background music. And hopefully that speed's okay for you right now. It's set at 60, um, so it's a little bit slower than performance speed, but that's okay. Okay, try it with me. Get ready. Four ticks and we're in. Here we go. One, two, big breath of air. Ready? And breathe. <laughs> Saxophone. So two things to watch out on for on the song. Number one, make sure please you keep the air blowing through your instrument and you start every note by touching the reed with your tongue. You want to go two, two, two. Your tongue actually comes out and touches kind of the bottom part of the reed. That's really important. We don't want to sound like this. We don't want to stop the air after every note. So that's not the sound we want. Instead, just keep the air blowing. As you blow, touch the, the reed with your tongue, and that will separate the sound for you. Okay, so the secret is keep the air blowing. That's number one. Number two is you have to be move your fingers quickly. Okay, so look ahead with your eyes to see what's coming in the music, and make sure your fingers move very, very fast and in time. So, for example, if you look at the music here in the third measure, the third box, it goes D, D, C, C, B, okay? Make sure you're moving your fingers quick. So let's try that together. Ready? Right there. Go. D, D, C, C, B. Let's do it again. You gotta move your fingers really fast. Ready? Go. D, D, C, C, B. So those are the things you wanna practice is the tonguing and moving your fingers quickly. And you might need to do that spot with the D, C's, and B's just over and over. 10, 15, 20 times until you feel really good on it, okay? Once you can handle that speed at 60 saxophones, then go ahead and go back up here to the top left corner and pick it back up to 70, and that's the performance speed, and record it at 70. Let's try it once at performance speed.
Okay, here we go. Get your saxophone ready. We're going to play it two times together with repeat sign. And use that tongue and fast fingers. Here we go. Again, the computer stopped. It should have done it twice. That's okay. When you record this for a quiz, um, if it stops after one time through, if it still sounds good and you got all the notes right and you got a score of 95 to 100, um, I'm sorry, my apologies. If it stops one time through, it won't give you a score of 95 to 100. But as long as the notes look good and you listen to it and it sounds good to you, you can still send it to me even if it doesn't do the repeat sign. And I'll give you credit for the full thing as if it went through twice. Okay, so don't panic about the score. Just make sure it sounds good. You're getting all the right notes. Okay, so excellent. I hope that helps you on line 11. And I will see you guys at our next lesson.